When I got my bill, there was quite a surprise because I there was not the discount I was expecting. And I felt as if I was up against a wall and I wasn't getting anywhere. Um, so I was kind of upset. I had stepped away from the phone for a few minutes, actually, because I, I didn't want to get angry with anyone. In the paperwork uh, was a phone number to talk with Mary Jo Deering. And so I went ahead and called her and explained to her the situation. He had called in and had said that he had had a problem with his bill and that he was quoted that if he had went to an Ohio Health facility, that he would be eligible for the charity program. I guess there was a somewhat of a miscommunication because I was under the impression that I was going to be eligible for a certain discount. And then what happened was when I went to Doctors Nelsonville, I had the testing done there, but it turns out that the discount was only available through the Columbus locations. Now with Nelsonville, our charity program's slightly different than the Ohio Health System. So I explained to him that he was over income for our facility, but I would see what I could do for him. She said, let me see what I can do, and I had to leave it in someone else's hands. <laughs> um, by the end of the day, I got a call from Mary Jo, and she explained to me what they were going to do. I was thinking, well, what if that was me? I wouldn't want to be told one thing and then go to that place and have all this work done and then it not be true. So I kind of felt like, well, we really have to do something for him in order to make this right so that he's comfortable with the situation. In the end, she worked out a situation where they were going to charge me what it would have cost in Columbus, and it ended up saving us about $900, which was amazing for us. I think connecting with the patients is very important. It lets the patient understand that you're there, you're listening to them, you're understanding their problems, and that way they are comfortable to where you can get the information you need in order to help them. The first thing she did was listen. She, she paid attention to you know, everything that I, I had to tell her. She, she didn't think she already knew what the situation was. Um, and she promised me that she was going to look into it and, and just see what she could do for me. Um, and I, I think that that was you know, the listening part, the, the understanding that she had was what really struck me. He actually brought flowers personally into the hospital to my desk. You know, I, I found Mary Jo in the corner and I, I gave her the flowers and I thanked her and I explained to her that this was, you know, just thanks for doing what she did and, and helping me out so well. And she seemed really surprised and she kept saying, well, I was just doing my job. And I, I said, but I think you deserve some recognition for that. Just listen, try to put yourself in their shoes.